Bolton Wanderers. I know they've had some hard times. They've gone down to League 2, but they really need to get back on track very soon. Not just there yet, pushing for championship places. But at the moment, we can see they just haven't got there. As today, we want to change that. We've got our squad lined up. Some very good players, but not championship worthy just yet. As we're going to change that by rebuilding the team. But of course, as you've seen... Only using free agents. And do you guys want kits like this one, this one, or even this one? If you do, make sure to check out Soccer Deal Shop. Link in the description. Cheap and affordable replica kits. And if you use MWS in the promo code checkout, you get yourselves 10% off. As the rules are simple, we know we can't buy players, so all of our money must be spent on free players. As then we've got to win the UCL trophy. But another objective I'm adding is we've got to have one Nigerian player. And that is in awe of, of course, JJ Okocha, who played for Bolton as we've switched up our team. As looking more in depth, we've got some good defenders and Dion Charles, Saren Collins, some decent forwards. Oh my days as well. We're going to have to take one out because I've just realised as well, we've already got a Nigerian player. Victor Adebejo, as I'm looking through the rest of them, no one else there. So to the free agent market we go. As a lot of players, and I mean a lot of players here at Bolton are only on loan. So that £4 million is going to have to bring in some good quality straight away in this season. Plus the objectives, of course. I know we can't get sacked, but to win the league, they're really going to push us. So off we go, signing players that I think we can keep on low contracts but also get promoted with as the first one's in midfielder, Andre Artin, a Romanian player coming as a CDM. Fits in the formation as the next one to come in, Bogdan. And I just sign players I can't say. I'm actually kind of hoping he, in particular, doesn't stay a long time, but Edward Coman, I'm hoping really does. Because with being unable to use our academy, getting young prospects in on free agents is good. And Edward Coman is one of those free agents we've gone for straight away. We will try and loan him out and get him better for future seasons. As both of those players that we've just signed right there, the first two, of course, going straight into the squad. Our team can play anywhere. We could move him to centre-back, but for now in midfield with Bogdan at left back. And I know we have money. We didn't spend that much, but we should still get promoted with Port Vale up first. Darren Moore's new team, beaten by the Bolton as a good start right here, but can we keep it up? Uh, Mandy, it's always a good sign when you threw in the BSM. Can we win it? I don't know. But we've got Lincoln City first. You know I want to beat them, but of course I'd rather beat them in the league. As Bolton Wanderers, top of League One. I mean, it is a surprise, but also not. I do really think that we should be going up, and it looks a bit mishmash. We've lost a lot of loan deals. You can see at centre-back Jones, now our highest rated. We'll swap this around and get Sheenan in. As that's perfect. We'll train Artean as a centre-back. And we do need to get this man, Komen, out on loan. And how have we done? I'm going to check end of the season right here. Yep. We've won the league, or not just won the league, but soared to the title. Bolton Wanderers, 60 feats, 94 points. That is a glorious promotion up to the championship, but it won't be joined by the Bristol Street Motors. In that trophy, we lost in the semi-finals to Blackpool, the winners. Congratulations to them. As FA Cup round three replay, Swansea City, not too bad. Can't say the same though for the Carabao Cup, where we lost in round one to Crew Alexandra. From the league below, as Adeboyejo has been in this team, as we've got this, some good ratings like Artian, now a centre back, Mikelianko or Bogdan, he's doing well at left wing back. But overall for the championship, well, for League One, this 
is brilliant. But for the championship especially though, we do need another Nigerian player. As after all, Victor only got four goals as our top scorer was the man on the bench, Dion Charles. And season number two, Bolton in the championship, fourth so far, but can we stay there? Because we have no money, we need a Nigerian player and that is priority number one this year. As skipping over, looking at the team again, to the budget and 15 million, that is literally half of a Premier League budget, so I'd say we need to be around halfway in the table, minimum. 12th is what we aim for, is looking at the players. The midfield looks a little bit on the weak side. Same with attack, to be fair. We need to get signing and Dion Charles for Adebayejo that's the first swap. As I've found a Nigerian player, he's going to have to wait a second because the player we've got in is good quality. Should be nailing down loads of free agents very quick as Emre Akababa. What a name that is. A Turkish playmaker to go alongside this man, Shandon Baptiste who's Premier League proven. Plays in there, of course, with Brentford as Adeyemi Ali. This is our Nigerian beast. As he is 68 rated, going into the squad, only 18 years of age, got potential to grow, as he's got to replace Captain Santos in the defence. But honestly, I don't mind that. I think he'll grow to be better than him. As final one for now, Max Lowe, a defender from relegated United. Sheffield United. As I did take a look at some decent midfielders and strikers, but I'm going to trust Collins and Charles. After all, if we're desperate, in the January month, we've still got 13 million, which is a lot of money. Especially for the championship, as looking at our opening month, we've got Sunderland first. Can we beat the lads? As how's Ali going to do in our defence against the Northern team? That's not that bad. A good sign of things to come. That's what I'd say that result is. Not up there with a win, but just in the middle. And fresh from simulating halfway through, we've got rating improvements. However, I could tell from the start, you could see they were unhappy. Not all fully fit. And not all great. Guessing we aren't halfway in the table. Oh my days. We are only just surviving. All the bees near the bottom of the table. We sit above Birmingham, Barnsley and Ipswich. But we're actually level with Barnsley. And that tells me that Charles and Collins haven't done their jobs. As looking at the scorer, we've got Charles at the top. But Collins with only three... Doesn't sound good to me. As one thing we could do, we could call back Coleman, but I'm not going to do that. I'll let him see out his loan spell. So to bolster our attack, we're going to our last option and finding a player that really wasn't too great. We've gone ahead and got Schuler. Don't know much about him, but we had to scout quickly and we've got a 70 rated. And end of the season, there he is Schuler, not playing the greatest, but getting the game time. As you can see overall, our team's ratings are good. I just hope our league position is good. As even Komen came back to the team and got a place on the bench as I put him there halfway through. Good little improvement, as good improvement in the league. We shot up to 11th, clear of the danger zone and getting closer to the top six, where next season I'd say we need to be. Get some good free agents, get cooking and we could do well as we lose to Wigan in the cup. Not a great result and same in the Carabao. 4-1 to Peterborough. We need to sharpen up. Of course, it could have all happened in that first half as we've got some good ratings come second half of the year. With some of these, we could honestly stay in the Prem as top scorer in the end was still Dion Charles. As I mean what I say, into this season, we can't win the UCL, so stop showing me that. We've got to take this one step at a time as 21 million good enough for Wanderers. As we know, we have a good Nigerian player. He's going to stay in the team. 19-year-old Ali. God, he's had some good improvement and we do need to improve strikers, some centre-backs, and I'd say that's enough. Of course, though, we have the money to just willy-nilly spend, but first one, of course, striker that we require. Welcome to the club, Federico Girotti, an Argentinian 
who just rolls off the tongue. Very nice name. And experienced in Argentina as this man experienced in the Premier League. Welcome Tom Lockyer to Bolton. And of course, whilst on the topic, hope he's having a good recovery. And the next one, of course, we're going to keep on going and... I've just realised, was Gary O'Neill in charge? We'll check after this one as Alvaro Aguado, a central midfielder, just racking up them good ones as that team looks good. Good enough for the Prem and Aguado can only sit on the bench. That's how good we are now. Or actually though, I've replaced him with Batiste. As, is it Gary O'Neill? It is. Oh my days. Didn't realise that I'd done that. As the last signing as well, we're going to make another one. A defender, Sergi Roberto. As that takes Bogdan out the team. Max Lowe at left back. Roberto at left wing back who is 80 rated. Tells me we need to get promoted as the first game. Stoke City, Strugglers IRL. As come on, Bolton, start as you mean to go on. And don't actually, because I don't want to keep losing. Defeat to the Potters and Bolton just might wander down to League One with that result. And hopefully I'm exaggerating. Hopefully we're not that bad, as when I open my eyes, I see third. A good recovery from the Wanderers. Five defeats. And you know what? I'll take it. Are we better than Leeds? Are we better than Everton? I don't really think so. So, yep, being five points off them makes complete sense. As 18 million, that doesn't make sense to me. But then again, we're not buying players. As speaking of players, wow, Zaruni. I know Ali's had an injury, but he's gone up some ratings. Same with Roberto, who is a right back playing right wing back. And like 34 year old. Brilliant work and 380 plus rated who need a new contract. The likes of Aaron Morley, who's been here from the start, but the top scorer at the club is Emre Akbaba, who's had one of the littlest growths. As it's all looking good, but I wanna keep pushing though. So we brought again another January signing in. And it's a wonder kid this time, Leon Wagner, who's 72 rated and only 18. And let's see if he can have an impact as oh, Right, we're, we're going up. Automatic promotion for the Wanderers on 99 points. Get in there, lads. Brilliant achievement as we lost in round four of the FA Cup. However, in round three, we drew to United and then in the replay, we beat them on penalties 7-6. Let's go. Brilliant result. And we'll see them again next year in the top division as we know where to be seen in the Carabao. Still don't care, though. It's all about league position. And we flew up there. As we're flying with the squad. 480 rated, but Ali the prize possession, him as a regen, he's gonna accelerate. And well, I love starting by saying the word and we are into season four, I believe, in the Premier League. Yes, we're definitely here. You can see Bolton Wanderers back where they belong in the big time. However, we're not just here for a quick stay. I mean, yes, we wanted to stay in the league anyway. But 65 million after contracts, which I didn't check beforehand, tells me different. Tells me different from my thoughts of just staying in the league and the board expect mid-table. I mean, they are ambitious. As looking at the team, I don't think that will finish mid-table. So, let's spend that money. On free agents, of course, as the first one. I merit Laporte. Looked out with him, as he's not the only one, though, that we are looking out on. A second one, Rade Krunic, okay. But the main one, of course, you can see who that is, Laporte and this man. Back together again, as welcome to Bolton. From his release at City, or oh, Inter, I think he was at, Kevin De Bruyne. As that is the look of our team, Krunic only on the bench, but De Bruyne in midfield, alongside an 85 rated Imeric Laporte. Wowzers. It's a Man City link up. Oh man, but if you think we're done there though, we are nowhere near done. My days have we scouted good. As right here, coming to Bolton Wanderers, 30 year old. Ollie Watkins, as he's going to have, though, a brilliant partnership with this man as well, Alvaro Morata. As if we swap Roberto for Bogdan, finally back in the team and 29 years old, 
I think we've got a good one. And we've added a lot of experience to the squad, but we've got to prove it now against Wolves. Has our job been a good one? Have we added enough quality? Doesn't seem like it. And we've not done too bad in selecting our players. You can see, though, no growth out of the old boys. This is not like the Luton save where we relied upon them. So Laporte, De Bruyne and Morata not budging. However, after an opening day defeat, our ratings are on the whole going up. As we've got players here that we had on day one, including Nathan Baxter and Morley in the team. Brilliant achievement as looking at the league. This would be a brilliant achievement if we could reach it as we sit second in the league to Newcastle United. I mean, even Newcastle and Chef United in seventh. You don't expect the league table to be as it is as everyone signed up to a contract and the team. Wagner is injured. I'm not going to replace him. We've got Aguedo on the bench. Let's see how he can do. As please, please, tell me we're in Europe, even if it isn't Champions League. As we stayed in the race, Newcastle fell out of it. Seven to three points. We were three off top spot. And I know we had to, well, step it up this season. The board gave us the money. And my days have we delivered. FA Cup beaten by City. No shame in that. The Carabao Cup. Beaten by Man United. Manchester not a place for Bolton results, but for players, however, it's been quite good. De Bruyne, prime example. Laporte, I've said they're not going up, but also they're not going down. And ratings can do. At this stage of the season, as Adeyemi Ali, what a player. And don't think I didn't spot in that last season at the end. Who we need to replace. As our team, our captain and first signing overall, he has just been outgrown by the remainder of his team. Unlike De Bruyne and unlike Laporte that I keep speaking about, he hasn't got that longevity. So to the bench, he will go. But we need to find a centre-back. And I have one in mind. Last season, I was scouting literally for maybe an hour, a, a real life hour, to make sure I saw who was running out of contracts and could help us win the UCL, if that's going to be our aim. We've got plenty of money, and as you can see, the board expect the final in the first season, which is something we do actually like to do sometimes, but to do it with these lads... We're going to have to put a shift in. We know, of course, our centre-back was first priority. This man is a good one. But Raphael Varane isn't my first choice. He's 84 rated, but he's going on the bench. As just before we get to him, though, we've got a big player, a free agent at the age of, I think, 31. We've got Harry Kane and De Bruyne in the same team and Laporte. We've got to win the UCL. With the team we're cooking. Cooking with gas, I should say. We're adding more artillery. Ruben Diaz. A 90-rated Portuguese. And X-Man City player as Benjamin Borgard. is another one for the bench. And what a side. What a side we've built. I mean, that defence. Laporte, Ali and Diaz. It's basically Man City with De Bruyne sat in front of them and of course Ali himself being 89 rated. I can't believe what we've truly got as Nottingham Forest first and my only issue is if we do suffer an injury to Nathan Baxter, it's Lou Hutchinson who's been approached by Forest Green anyway who is our backup and from one Forest to another as we start with a Premier League win. Fantastic. Fantastic. And I am going to hold out on a backup keeper. I'm going to wait till January. Give Baxter the backing as he's been here from the start. He can play every game, including Monaco, Villarreal and Kiev. As please, please, please tell me we're doing well in the UCL. Wanted that to rhyme and the Premier League as well. We are top. On 42 points. Brilliant from Bolton. So we have Bournemouth in the FA Cup. Carabao Cup. Want to check these? We have just lost. Manchester United beat us in the quarterfinals. As looking at our team though, 
it's the Champions League we want to be through in. A little bit of decrease though this year round as if we don't win the UCL, we could be kissing goodbye to Laporte. Maybe not De Bruyne who stayed at 88 and I've got to give a shout out to Watkins who's still going up. Feel like that's down to the fact that he has scored more goals this season than Harold Kane, as Marley was third, an original player as we finished second in the UCL group, and that's quite disappointing. Or not disappointing, but not what we want, as we've drawn Milan instead of Ajax, who we could have got if we topped the group as first leg against Milan at home, we get a 2-1 win. Glorious result, but still another leg to go. And this time round, we win with 10 men. Great, great stuff. As next up, though, it is Manchester City, who were above in the league. And it is the team, of course, we've stole most our players from. So, come on. A 3-3 draw. As now we've got to go to the Etihad in close proximity as Bolton Wanderers 6-4 winners in the end. Wagner with a double and Watkins with the first one seals all the way through to the semi-finals. Really liking this. Really liking it. Leipzig though. I would have preferred to play PSG. The reason I say that, obviously, they're the harder team to beat as we win 2-1 away in Germany. And still a leg to go. We win 3-1. 5-2 on aggregate. Champions League final. But will it be accompanied with a trophy? A Premier League trophy? No, it won't. Chelsea win it. No billion pound bottle jobs in this league this year, of course. As Carabao, we obviously lost in. Man United won that. As it's Napoli in the final. PSG beaten. And I don't mind it. Still though, still, we cannot underestimate Napoli in its entirety. As this team in its entirety, not very strong on the bench. But in the team, we've got quality players who need to start shining. As, oh, flashy. A night show right there. Ahead of our Champions League final. Not seen that before. As it's got me really pondering. What stadium are we at? It doesn't say on the graphic and it doesn't matter. Still gonna win. That is the crucial thing about this final as this is Max Lowe. Ex-Sheffield United. On to ex-villain here, Ollie Watkins running into KDB. And I want a good final from him. He should be up for this one. Of course, won it at City, but needs to win it again. Good tackle, Sangare. But not good football, especially from us here. But Harry Kane, you know, we could get a run on here. It's Morley. Get it on the outside. It is into Bogs and Mikulenko. Ball towards Oli Watkins. Harry Kane. Watkins made a good run then. And referee, come on. Could that be a red card? Let's have a look right here. Is that? Oh my days, I couldn't tell. Red card, Lukeba. Was not a good challenge. And if we could score from the free kick, that would be glorious. It's Wagner with the shot. Or oh, Wagner, I believe. I believe that's how it's pronounced anyway. He is German as here comes Ollie Watkins again. Running himself away from defenders. It's good from Ollie Watkins. And it was almost on the head of our man. Napoli offering nothing. Absolutely nothing. But at half time, however, they're still holding on to a draw. As we need to play. We need to start playing, especially in their box. Because we're not getting close enough. Just need a chance, you know, to be created. As here's Ollie Watkins. It's a good ball onto Morley. But a block by Hincapié. And now it's Gavi. Coming forward. They've got a few decent players. Never looked at their team before. His creature's still there. He sat Ali down, but what a recovery, Laporte. As it could be more than a recovery. We had players forward, but most offside. Still will keep this move going. Max Lowe here. He's trying to shake off his defender. He kind of does. And that's a brilliant ball to the back stick. As Bogdan is there. Are you Ukrainian? And what a finish from our no Number four. He's been here from the start. And what a ball that is. It's just over everyone's head. At the back stick. Wing back to wing back. And 1-0 up. 
Love that now. Big sense of relief coming from our players, but still 20 minutes to go. Ali with his tackle and low again forward. Max Low being the best player, as this could be an attack here. It's Wagner running through. Harry Kane in the middle. If we could get the ball across, went first time. Almost a second, but the fact we don't have to defend, the fact we're still toying with them once one nil off. Just waiting on that whistle now as we have the ball into Wagner, who has deserved a goal. He goes from range as the whistle follows. I knew that would be the case. As the referee brings that game to an end and the 10-man Napoli have been beaten. What an occasion, of course. I love doing free agent saves every now and again. I don't know why I held off them. As I know we've got OGs in and around the squad, but I had to give the captain's armband to Kevin De Bruyne. Experienced in lifting the trophy as well as, hey, Morley and Baxter. They were at the front. That's nice. As what also would be nice if you subscribe to the channel and comment down below what team you want next.